remember my friend made me a fruit smoothie and as soon as I drank it, my tongue started to swell up and feel all tingly. So I went to the doctor and I described my symptoms to him. The reaction got worse when I ate certain foods such as apples and peaches, my tongue felt sore and swollen, and I noticed that I could actually eat the foods if they were cooked or canned. During a reaction, my tongue looked very swollen. I was sent to an allergist to get an allergy test. Turns out I was allergic to birch, grass, and ragweed pollen, and a few other things too. The allergist diagnosed me with oral allergy syndrome. It's basically an allergic reaction that occurs in the oropharynx. And the symptoms are a result of hives. So how exactly does oral allergy syndrome happen? In a typical allergic reaction, your body mounts an immune response to pollen because it thinks it's harmful. To be more specific, your immune system forms a memory for the proteins that surround the pollen molecules, known as PR proteins. PR proteins surround pollen and plant molecules as a natural response to various stressors, such as injury or bacteria. We experience allergy symptoms because mast cells in our body bind to the allergen and form a cross linkage. This causes them to release histamine and other chemicals that cause our allergy symptoms, including itching, sneezing, and redness. Oral allergy syndrome occurs when people with a pollen allergy eat certain fresh foods. This is because your body confuses the food allergen for the pollen allergen. Basically, your body can't tell the difference between the PR proteins that surround pollen and various foods. Birch pollen is the most common culprit of oral allergy syndrome because the PR proteins on birch pollen closely resemble the PR proteins of many fruits, including apples and plums, vegetables such as carrots and celery, and nuts, including walnuts. Although birch pollen is the most common, there are many other plant allergies that can trigger oral allergy syndrome, such as ragweed and mugwort. But the good thing about PR proteins is that they are highly unstable during heating and digestion. If you think you have oral allergy syndrome, you should contact your doctor and get an allergy test. If you have oral allergy syndrome, it's important that you avoid the foods that trigger your symptoms. You can also cook or heat the foods to denature the PR proteins. You can peel the fruits and vegetables because the proteins are often found on the skin. Or you can take an over-the-counter antihistamine. Thanks for watching. For more information, I recommend you check out my blog post, which is linked below.